I'm here with Margaret Stahl. Um, she's written Beautiful Creatures, uh, The Black Widow Orchard Story, and... How do you remember all that stuff? <laughs> like, I can barely remember all that stuff. So... Just, it goes in? Is that like memorizing lines on Broadway, where it just, like, goes right in and stays? Yeah, were you ever much. on Broadway and you, like, blanked and you were like, uh, this is the University of Rock? <laughs> Sometimes... It's more like I think too hard about it, and I'm like, okay, what's my line here? And then when I think too hard about it, I'm like, wait, what is it? Did anyone ever freeze up and be like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah? Uh. Yes. And then what happens? Um, somebody will ad lib, oh. come up with something. And kind of save the day? Yeah. Oh, I love that. All right. Okay. Just, just <laughs> you're more interesting than I am. I am not the star of a Broadway musical. <laughs> and Theo has made movies. <laughs> and I've done nothing but write books. So for, forgive me if I start interviewing you. <laughs> okay. So, um... You're like, uh, bring it... Bring it <laughs> so, um, I heard that you're writing a new book, so you can tell us a little bit about that. I am. I My second Black Widow book just came out, which is called Black Widow Red Vengeance. There's always a little red in those titles. So we were Forever Red and then Red Vengeance. And I have another last one of those, I think, cooking. But I also don't know if I've announced that, so forget that. Um, I have a really funny, weird book that's not like anything I've ever written, but it's a lot like my life, if you know me, that's called Royce Rolls. Um, that's about the kind of idea, that, well really this is an inappropriate story, but I'm going to share it with you and I think you knew I was going to because that's like my middle name is Oversharing, Margie Oversharing Stoll. But I woke up one day and there was Kim Kardashian's butt in the news again and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I am sitting here hearing a news headline about Kim Kardashian's butt, like it had gotten bigger or smaller, I don't remember. And then I was like, I would die if I was born into a family like that, like what would I do? I don't even, I don't even barely have, you know, mascara. Like I couldn't do any of those things. And then I was like, oh my gosh, what would happen if I was born into a reality show family? So then I started writing a book about what would happen if someone like me was born into a family like that. Spoiler, <laughs> it's not a great fit. But um, so that's like a wacky, a story that I just ended up writing and I don't even I was writing it for me like for fun and I haven't really done something that like just for me in a long time and then um, it ended up through a series of strange happenings getting published so that book is coming out Royce Rolls so it's an LA story and I feel like everyone who lives in LA has an LA story so by the time we have this talk at y'all west it will be out how weird is that wow Sounds and, exciting. Um, but the other big thing I'm working on all the time is the Captain Marvel comic book, which my, um, my issue zero, so they rebooted it for me. So the issue zero with the artist named Ramon Rosanas starts in December. So I'm really excited about that and really scared, obviously, because it's not like a book that comes out and you can hide from those reviews like that. People tell you if they hate you every month or if they love you. But that's not the way my brain works. So yeah. Anyway, that's what's going. Mostly I'm here at Y'all Fest with you guys, which is like my happiest place on earth. Is it yours? Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Is Broadway your happiest place on earth? Well, I mean. Happiest and hardest. <laughs> yeah, but now we're now done, done with it. So this are you is back now to my school new... now? Like, uh, a, like almost. a child? On Monday. Yep. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Are you like more nervous about that than the show opening or is it just like all par for the course? I mean, I'm pretty excited more than nervous. Plus your brother's We'll there. see when we actually get there, but yeah. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Well, do you think you're going to be in class and you're just going to like start riffing on your bass and be like, whoops, sorry, forgot, and like sit down? Or are you going to like stand on the desks and say, stick it to the man? No. We're going to a pretty progressive school, so yeah, you probably wouldn't mind. <laughs> All right. Who have you seen here? Who are you excited to talk to? I mean, you. Of course. <laughs> uh, Look, all these famous authors are walking by. Wow, awesome. Yeah, there they go. Hi, famous authors. There they are. <laughs> okay. um, <laughs> Back over here. <laughs> so, uh, I'm you also... Are, you also know all the, like, you've been palling around with Veronica Roth and all our festival chairs. Like, you guys are kind of, you're kind of cool now, right? 
podcast. Kind of. A little bit cool. Mm. Plus, you've, like, mm. played guitar with Stevie Nicks and things like that. Like, maybe you're, like, maybe meeting authors is just, like, regular old Joe to you. <laughs> right? Well, it's exciting. Who are you most exciting? Who are you most excited to meet? Like, over your movie star life? Oh, like, in... Yeah. Ever. Like, in life, ever. Uh... Tina Fey. Tina Fey? That would be awesome. Yeah. Did you quote Tina Fey back to her? Did you say, I want to go to there? <laughs> Which is my favorite, my favorite <laughs> Tina Fey quote. Yeah. Who would, who would you be most excited to meet? Um, I bet I can guess. Yeah. Who would you guess? John Oliver. John Oliver. Oh, yeah. I had Come on. Yeah. We would both be most excited yeah. to meet John Oliver. John Oliver is the coolest. He's the best. I'm waiting for him to solve our election situation. <laughs> I don't know. If I want him to, like, get online and tell us what to do. Yeah. Right? Because he's, like, the voice of wisdom. He's the voice of reason. Yeah. Yes. That's what I want. And he has a great voice. A great British right? accent <laughs> voice. I love it. Although I was with Evie and we ran into um, Oak. Yes, wow. at Comic Con. Yes, we, Hercules Mulligan. That was exciting, and then he came out to our Marvel party. That yep, was a, that, was that was a finer moment. <laughs> he was dressed as Luke Cage. Yep. And they recognized each other. That's what it's like when you walk around the con with a Broadway star. They like notice the other Broadway stars. <laughs> it's like the secret world of Evie Dolan. Um, what book now are you thinking you're going to read after this? Uh, I mean, I'm at the moment reading a lot of books but I'm well, excited catching up for school yeah um, but they're like now that I like watched all these panels there's like so many new books that I want to read that sci-fi fantasy panel was the funniest panel I've ever seen no I know uh, I want to read every single you should interview day. Lee Bardugo she's the funniest person on earth she is I'm gonna make that happen mm -hmm. you have to interview her that was hilarious <laughs> also Gwenda Bond over there is really hilarious with her blue hair Gwenda where are you going we interviewed Gwenda. okay Wait. bye <laughs> Is it with me? Yeah. Oh, then I guess so. Okay. <laughs> okay, it was great talking to you. <laughs>